Thanks, Kira, for updating everybody. I don't know where I am right now. This thread is so thin. This machine is so different. Hopefully y'all can hear me okay. Um, comments look like they're popping up here and there. I'll change the view just a little bit. Um, but this is mostly going to be a conversational live. I'm just hanging out while I learn how to use this machine a little bit more. And I'm making a petite Elaine, which is what we are making at the Wizardry Getaway, which is happening later in May. There are tickets still available. Hi, Kathy. See you in the morning. Hi, Sonia. Um, so yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to get through this. So I actually had a Juki 2000 QI that I purchased eons ago. <laughs> Probably as long ago as I've purchased an instant pot. Um, so I thought, why not try a new one? Too much tension? Could be. Alright, this might not be. Maybe it's too much tension. Already off to a great start. Hi, Sue. How's it going? Hello, Cynthia. Oh, yay, Kira. Thank you for linking. Hi, Crystal. Um, so, Jessica, this is the um, Haruka. This is the TL18. Um, it's the machine we're using at the getaway, so I wanted to familiarize myself a little bit more with it. Um, it's extremely similar to the 2010 I already had, but yeah. Oh my gosh. Doing great so far. Can't even wind a bobbin. This is pretty much how I've been lately, so it's fine. <sighs> Hello, Diana. Eventually I will get to sewing, I swear. Um, I am also using a Text 30 thread, so I'm just like, what? I can't even see it. It's so small. But we're going to get through this, and it's going to be great. Um, we actually have a class this weekend at Sew Whatever Studio um, for Shinova. I'm super excited. Got it? You got it? All right, there we go. Okay, I think it's just me holding this. It was literally me holding it, causing the problem. Oh, great. I bet this sounds incredible. Hello, so Felicia. Hello. Oh my god. I probably need two of these bobbins too. This machine does have a speed setting, so that's cool. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to set this one aside. I'm going to pull the thread in to nest it in the bobbin and then we'll make another um, I don't know if I have shared anywhere but Instagram but we are doing another project box Roberta. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't have any text 45. Um, Melissa sent over text 35. That's what she recommends for the TL18. So I'm going to try it. Um, hi, Cindy. Oh, no. 
Um, Connor actually passed away last November. Um, so it's hard to say if he's doing better, right? Um, Darlene, the plate with the measurements is from Steve at Sewing Gold. Highly recommend. Yes, new project box, who dis? Um, super stoked. The main things I can tell you right now is it's going to include a custom variegated thread to match the fabric, and then it's going to have custom printed cork, um, and then a roll of vinyl to match. I am very excited. Um, I think y'all know I don't just plan stuff willy-nilly. So it's been a lot of love gone into it. I am super excited for all the people I'm working with and I just, it's gonna be a blast. Can't wait. Excuse you. Please return to your assigned seat. Desiree, how's it going? Um, I don't work a ton with leather. I do have a skiving machine that I love using, but I just don't have a lot of time for leather. I'm gonna leave the needle that's on this machine on there, but I don't know how well it's gonna do. Got it. Did it. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to catch up on comments. I'm sorry. No, please feel free to chat. I like it. I probably should have gotten something that shows comments right in front of me. Um, I just didn't even think about it. Okay. Threaded. Stitch length selected. Pedal. I'm terrible. Actually, I'm using the pedal table power cord from the old thing. Really cool. The machine came with snacks. Love it. Um, no. Oh, I don't know. Um, Desiree, if you bought one of the, um, floral ones. They didn't come with freebies. They were actually just part of it. Um, but when we took the photos, we just didn't include photos of what was in it for some reason. So it was stuffed full of all the goodies. And we do have some of the tumblers still available. We have new snips on the website too. I don't know if we've ever said. All right, so some people are saying they use Tex 45 and they're TL 18. Look at these babies. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna add my zipper pulls. Ben is begging for attention. I've basically forgotten how to sew because this is not my machine. <sighs> I'm like, it's not my, f it's my fabric design, but it's not my fabric and It'll be fun. Ben's doing great though. Look at him. <clears throat> oh yeah, see two e two. I'm over here like what's in two weeks? <laughs> Where am I going? What am I doing? Let's not talk about it. I'm super stressed. Just insanely stressed. He's probably looking for those snacks. He was messing with it and I was just, I was dying. I was like, don't get my snacks, Ben. They're not snacks. By the way, it's a gel silica packet. Do not eat. It says it right on front, but you tell me not to do something. I'm gonna wanna do it. All right. <clears throat> there you go. He's like, where do I go? 
Deanna, I'm really frustrated with C2E2 right now. I could have swore I paid for a premium booth space and I'm in the same spot as I was last year and it's not good. We weren't in a good spot last year. Like, did I even see you last year? Did you remember seeing my booth? I don't remember. Um, I used Text 45 and the TL18 and it works great. Oh, good, good. Um, the Wizardry Getaway is in Quitman, Texas. Um, I believe the closest airport is gonna be Dallas and it is four days. I should know <laughs> which four days, but I don't right now. You guys, I like, I don't have my tools with me. They're over there. I'm just looking at my industrials, like, love you, mean it. But I'm excited to have a different domestic. Um, that one is kind of outdated. It's kind of old, doesn't work great. Um, and I bought it on Amazon as a refurb anyway, so I'm excited to have something to make small pouches on, things like that. What works best in a Juki for thick layers? I mean, I love my 1181, but the 1541 would be better for layers, etc. Okay, I'm gonna make my crossbody strap first. Um, this is not the webbing we're using, but it'll match. Oh, FM stores, miss it. Okay, it's Thursday through Sunday, May 23rd through 26th. Great, because I was gonna say like May 28th. May 28th. I'm gonna show up late. Oh my gosh. I, I don't even know where I am right now. Um, people will come to classes and they're like, I just, I forgot how to sew. And I'm like, please understand. I get it. <laughs> So we got some, this is all one inch hardware. So I'm gonna go get some one and a half inch hardware. I forgot we were using one inch webbing. I am in the basement. Thank you, Deanna. Ooh, I forgot I'm wearing a microphone so you can still hear me talk. So I probably shouldn't say anything under my breath. That's weird. Oh, don't throw it on the ground. Okay. Right. Ben is literally sitting on my 1181 like, mom. It's fine, buddy. It's fine. All right. Should we take bets? Hi, VJ. How's it going? We got to meet a quilt gone. That was fun. <laughs> um, that I break a needle. Sewing through webbing. Just relax, it's fine. What am I looking at? Is it not stitching at all? No, it is, okay. Just my starting thread is hanging out. Here we go. Whatever, it's fine. Stitches look fine. I 
I think it's the thicker threads that like you don't want to cut. But I'm a rebel. <laughs> Do I need goggles? Yeah, probably. Kathy, why don't you just come on over early? <laughs> You're like, don't tempt me. Yeah, text 35, it's fine to cut. Um, yes, so Project Box, we're hoping we'll have a handful of patterns in it um, and some extra goodies. We are going to limit it to a lot less than there were last year, not last year, but the year before just because it was way too much work. Um, it's a massive investment, especially with cork. I've already spent so much, <laughs> but it'll be worth it in the end. Super excited. Um, but at the getaway, there are a ton of different teachers teaching. So you're gonna be sewing for all four days. There's a ton of projects you're gonna get. Um, Lynn's from Lynn's Handmade. She's teaching the Tracy wristlet. Um, there is tips and tricks with Shannon from Knotted Thread Co. You're gonna make a steering wheel cover um, from Brittany from the Emporium, which is really cool. So like, it's not just bag making, but it's all kinds of different sewing projects. So I think that's exciting. And then we're gonna make the Petite Elaine from me. I'm the petite Elaine, it's me. Great question, Charlotte. The Janome HD9 is at my friend Tammy's house. She needed a machine that could do better with bag making and um, I sewed through my finger and I have a lot of hurt feelings from the Janome HD9 and its users. So they are living happily together and here I am trying another domestic and seeing if it hates me in the end. Yeah, Randy got to see it. People who have come to the um, no exclusive patterns, like nothing really in it is super exclusive. The items will be exclusive for a little bit, not forever, just a little bit. Lynn's Tracy wristlet is a quick fun so yes. Hi Fran, hope you're healing well, thinking of you. Love you. Okay, Melissa cut all of this out. Super excited to have a just a project ready for me. So we're gonna sew this on. Yes, the um, getaway, this colorway of the flowers is exclusive for the getaway. Yes, I'm using a TL18. These are the um, machines that are able to be rented at the getaway. You can bring your own machine, but you can rent a machine as well. Oh, hey, Sandra. Sorry, I missed your comment. I just saw. It's, you know how it is. It's so hard to keep up with the comments. Okay. Um, so I'm not gonna be going over all of the steps. This is mostly just like a hangout. So I'm using the foot that came on the machine. Probably should have a Teflon foot or something, but we're just gonna roll with it. You know I missed, but what are we making? So we are making the Petite Elaine. This is my own pattern, the Elaine, but shortened by two inches. And I think it's super fun because Nikki um, from Nikki Makes is also going to be a teacher. And she is, well, teacher or helper, um, they're all teachers, but she is the one who initially inspired cutting it shorter. So 
I am really excited to be alongside her in that room. Okay, so we're gonna go an inch and a half down. Mark out our snap placement. I don't have any scrap fabric to back it up, but I don't know that I really care either. Is that terrible? <clears throat> okay, let me move the camera so it's not just me making weird faces. Here we go. You're like, yeah, thanks. That's what we wanted this whole time. Um, okay, I lied about the project box. There, there may be some exclusive items in it. Um, I know the summer project box was around $72. This one, unfortunately, is going to cost probably about $200. Um, just the materials alone within it are super expensive. Um, cork, uh, the cork is $52 for a half yard. So right there, it's like, oof, spendy. But if you know me, you know I'm going to make it jam-packed full of value. So I'm hoping to get a like sign-up form like we did last time out so that people can like I'm not taking your money, but you can tell me, like, yes, I'm interested. And then, depending on how many people we have interested, we'll do, um, instead of a retail, we'll do waves of people purchasing so that there isn't as much overwhelm, if that makes sense. But, yeah. Okay. I'm going to try to periodi periodically, periodically look up to answer questions as well. Melissa just popped on using the TL18. Hey Danielle, how's it going? Um, and then making the sample bag for the class. <clears throat> Ooh, message retracted. Dang. <clears throat> So essentially, the main reason I'm making a tester is so that we can ensure that every project, um, all the teachers test out their projects, but um, we want to ensure that every project can be made within the room as well. Did I miss teachers? I am ordering the thread and more this weekend, it will be great. Yes. Yeah, I'm using the Ube colorway of thread. It matches really well. Um, when Melissa asked me to teach, well, after I bullied, in, um, bullied her into letting me teach, um, I was like, you know, it'd be cool as like a, an exclusive colorway of the roses. Like, I'll do it just for you. What color you want? And she's like, well, I love purple. And I was like, great, done. Purple it is. So we thought it would be fun to have all the projects match. Whether it's with the print being on the inside and just like a really sleek black exterior or what have you. Um, all the kits are pre-cut for the weekend for you as well. So that's pretty fun.
Shinova and Crystal are also teaching. Yes, thank you so much. I did not get a chance to say it. All right, so we've got a little bit of skipped stitches on that bulk, but I probably just need to tighten it a little, little bit. I'm not gonna restitch it because it's holding well enough. So I'm gonna set that aside and get my strap connectors before we can finish this panel. Um, if I'm having trouble finishing sentences, that's my brain lately. It's just so, so much happening. So much stress that it's just the way it is. But it won't always be like that, so that's good. That's good. There's my connectors. There you are, you little waskly wabbits. Okay. So I think I'm going to prep. Well, I like to tape them all together. These. And I'm going to stitch these at like 3 eighths of an inch. And then when we top stitch them on, they'll be sewn a little differently. Um, so I've never used this machine. Um, thank you, Rhonda. She says it's too late to be expected to form complete sentences. Bless. I did have a nap. Um, I've never used this machine, so I don't believe I have one, but that is good to note that they have that. I think the only thing I miss having on an industrial is an automatic thread cutter. And apparently you can get that. But, yeah, I don't know. Um, I did have a nap today. Dorothy put me in jail. I was a bad guy and she put me in jail, um, which was my bedroom. And so I just took a nap. That was, that was nice. Have some quality time there. Um, I can't use feet from my Juki on this machine. It does have feet with it, but it has like a walking foot. And I honestly am not, like I used to use a walking foot and it's fine, but not when you're doing zippers and all that. So here we are. Dude, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I don't know about the thread cutter, but I was talking to Sam um, about Brittany's 1181, nope, 8700, and how she uses it to make cat toys, um, Brittany from the Imperium. And, ooh, look at me name dropping. <sighs> he was like, oh, you know, they have like custom backstitch things and this and that. And I was like, what? Yes, there are definitely other feet you can use on this machine. And there is a thread cutter button. Yes, above the reverse. Yep, boop. On this machine, it's like right next to it, but we're talking industrial machines. Thread cutters on industrial. Um... So I actually had the T TL2010 QI before I had an 1181. So I am aware of how they work, etc. But I, before I got my industrial, I went to the quilt shop and I bought the 2010. And I was like, yeah, I make bags. And the lady was like, oh, you won't need anything stronger than this. And I was like, want to bet? Um, I, she was wrong. I, I did need something stronger, but not everybody needs something stronger.
<laughs> oh, hello, Miss Marcel. You're here. She was thinking cotton culty by any bags, probably, yes. She was like, I'm a bag maker. And I was like, oh, cool. Tell me more. Like, insert Willy Wonka gif. All the hardware I'm using is from Geeky Hardware, aka Wizardry Stitchery and Crafts as well. They have these cool like welded square rings, little chonky boys. Um, and then these D-rings are really cool. They have um, that square ring there so that they don't slip, slip and slide around. And they're thick enough to um, allow for vinyl to go in it as well. I knew that was going to happen. I make leather western style bags, but I may buy some waterproof canvas or vinyl from you sometime. Yeah, it's fun to kind of change up what you do. Um, Kira, the only interfacing that I have on this bag is the bottom. It'll be um, Decaville Heavy or whatever interfacing Melissa chooses, just something firm. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I'm so glad you found my page. Thank you so much for joining. Yeah, I wanted like an interfacing free bag. You have to think like somebody has to cut all this out. So you want to think that's the hardest part about picking things is like what, what would be impressive and easy, but yeah. What weight of thread are you using on that machine? I'm using a Tex 35. Um, so that's actually going to be the Tex of thread in the in project box two. It'll have a name eventually, but um, we'll have Tex 35 and Tex 80. And then Melissa is available to sell the thread afterwards as well. So if you want more of it, you can get more. But I'm so excited they're going to be little spools, cute little baby spools. S spools for ants. Oh, not really, but. Okay, these can go over here. I don't need you right now. These can stay here, these can stay here. Yay, Thread, you had me scared for a minute with 35. I know, right, like, fine. We deal with it, but that's not what we want. All right. Um, I believe Melissa will have some extra of this fabric for sale at the getaway too, if anyone's interested but it's not a print that I will be offering. Okay, so these are going an inch and a half. Oh, Diana, thank you. No, I did not. I have them done because they're so good. I love it. She's an incredible artist and like my nails hold up for like six, seven weeks so I don't even have to worry about it. So for me, I'm like, fine, it's worth it. Can you do a higher weight on that machine? Yes. So people say um, you can do up to a 45 safely. Um, I'm honestly using the needle that was in here. I'd imagine it's a 14, but probably could do like a 16. The reason your thread is shredding is very possibly because of the needle size. Or, man, it could be anything sometimes. Needle size. Um, could 
could be an issue with the um, bobbin case too. <laughs> I'm so scared of domestics. Get out of here, you guys. So I'm already getting skipped stitches and it's because my foot isn't level. So hump jumper would be good. I don't think this is gonna do it. We'll try. Imagine a more beautiful thing. It's gorgeous. <laughs> okay. But again, we can know it's going to happen and like back stitch till it catches. Oof, it's like old times. I'm so terrible. There we go. All right, this is better. Again, it's like knowing it's gonna happen and learning how to prevent it. So I was able to compensate it so the foot Maybe that's why you need a compensating foot. Um, could move a little better. Hello, Nikki. When Roberta said when my thread was shredding, I didn't have the needle in correctly. The hinged narrow foot, yeah, that sounds nice. Yes, the box of needles can help too. I always make sure the needle is on the way up before pivoting. Oh yeah, smart. I'm sure a Teflon foot would be helpful too. Yeah, double stitch everything, very, very smart. Okay, so I've got that on. Luckily, I'm gonna cover some of that up with this pocket. I just used, okay, so use the micro lift on the thicker areas. Oh, okay, right there. Um, my shirt says the Snuggly Duckling. It's Rapunzel. It's from Tangled. All right, so I'm laying my pocket down and then I'm just gonna press on the magnetic snap and it made a little stamp on where my next magnet goes. So we don't have to measure and if somebody inserted their snap a little wrong, well, now it'll be right. So I'm just making two little snips in the vinyl. No. Could definitely use a scrap of fabric or stabilizer there. Okay, the knob on the top left is foot pressure. Oh, the right is the micro lift. Just turn it. I thought about filming a video of me opening the machine and throwing away the um, Manual. I, I wouldn't do that, but we are the thread. Turn it until you see the red line. I wish you guys could see my face right now. I just realized that you're on a new machine. 
like keep going, turn it all the way up. I don't see any red line. Okay, 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 okay. I see. Oh, there's a red line. All right. All right. But I don't need that now up, right? One of the most machines. Yes, this is one of the machines you can rent. I should say this is the machine you would rent. Oh, whoa, okay, okay. Why are you doing that? Why are you shifting on me? I mean, I know why, and it's because it's not a walking foot. Oh, there's two different ones. There's the Haruka and the regular. It's like a hump jumper. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Put it back. Okay, we're just going to go slow with this foot. Because we're getting shifting like crazy. They do have other feet available at the getaway, I'm pretty sure, as well. But I'm just going slow and keeping my vinyl pressed into place. Okay. Here's my pile. So now I can add my other sides of the bag. Hopefully this isn't like a spoiler for y'all. Like maybe I shouldn't have gone live. 2010Q, gotcha. <clears throat> Should have kept it a surprise. How do we make it? What are we doing? But honestly, I think, um, the main reason to attend the getaway is probably just the food, to be honest with you. Um, I joked with Melissa. I was like, if you're looking for me when class starts, I'll be eating. Just so you know. I'm just going to go eat. It's like, well, sorry, I came for the snacks. So, okay, so I'm getting to a hump. So I'm gonna use this to help with that. And then if I need to, I'll use that. But luckily this is a forgiving bag, so we should be okay. Um, who makes variegated threads? So the ones that I purchase, I buy from geekyhardware.com. Fairy Floss is my ride or die. Um, so that's the one I would recommend for sure. All right, so we can't go too fast. Maybe I'll slow that down a little bit. This is also good for me because I know realistically like how to make it, what problems. <gasps> okay, well my needle is crooked now and that's okay. It's not okay, I'm gonna fix it, but I'm gonna get through this first. Got 
myself into. Okay. All right, I'm gonna switch to some top stitch needles. This screwdriver's not even cute. Get out of here. Very fast praying in my lap because it loves me. Um, yes, true. Um, um, Sia Swag also has some variegated thread. They have Tex 70. And then Wizardry has Tex 80. Sia also sells lower Tex. I was like, where did the needles go that I just had? Me and Fairy Floss vibe like that. I think me and Melissa named the um, thread for the project box, but I don't remember what we picked. Industrial bag maker uses a domestic. Struggles the entire time. Yes, wizardry has lower text too. Yeah, luckily there are so many different places to get all the things. Can support all the businesses. All right, we might have less issues now that we've switched to a bigger needle as well. Just throwing that out there. Okay. Also just playing with the tension a little bit. Okay, okay. Here we go. Hmm. All right, so we're getting to the thick spot here at that pocket. So I'm just gonna start with a little something. the whole time. So is this where you would use the micro lift? Would that really help? Sounds good, let me do that. Okay. Go till you see the red. I'm gonna go a little bit at a time. When I see the red. My thread broke.
So Melissa, maybe we won't do this vinyl overlay on the pocket because I don't think it would be too bad otherwise. And this is why we test it. Yeah, definitely think raise the presser foot pressure. Well, yeah. I do see it pushing, but like it's not even a thick part right now, but I see. It's, oof. Yeah, I was gonna say, I see the needle bending. I just broke it. That's crazy to me. This is good though. I just want everybody to know <laughs> that it's okay to struggle. It's okay to struggle. They are such tiny needles. Get a size 18. Okay, well, good luck. I can do a 16. It's a jeans needle, a denim needle. I just have an assortment from when I worked at Hancock Fabrics of needles. Most of them are needles for an embroidery machine. So there's that. I also just feel like my tension is too high. That, I feel like that caused a good bit of the struggle. And what's kind of fun is with a variegated thread, like you're not gonna see where it messed up. Okay, Wendy says she uses a size 16 in her machine, so that's good. So here we go. Should I test it on a scrap? Probably. Am I gonna? No. I'm not. We got four of these panels to attach. We got time for that? Okay, well it sounded better already. Hello, Rhea. That's what I used, G needles, okay. Okay. I'm gonna shield my eyes just in case. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's ridiculous, but I feel safer. No! Oh, okay. It didn't bend. Okay. It is just weird to me, it's just this area. And like, I can feel it not doing well. And then the thread broke. <laughs> but it's tension. It is literally the tension. An 18 micro tax. I'll see if I have one. When this one finally bends. It's so little. It really should be embarrassed. Could be a, could 
be wrapped around a dial, yeah. <laughs> Make sure you wear your ruler eye protection. <laughs> Safety first. <sighs> okay. On the vinyl, I used a Teflon foot. Yeah. I'm gonna increase stitch length just a little bit. I mean, the dial is up. Yeah. No, Lena, I like I am, but I'm not. Because I'm enjoying the struggle. It's a different struggle than every day. So that's nice. These are the struggles that remind me why I got an industrial, because my husband would hear me cursing all day. Yes, there are a lot of people that sew cork and cotton bags. Yes. On this machine. Yes, Nico does. And she loves hers. She did use an industrial um, in Tennessee. We were all just hanging out. Oh! <laughs> the needle just fell out. Oh, I know it's broken. You guys, we are an hour in, and I'm nowhere near being finished with this bag. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Luckily, I've been here before. Yes. Didn't laugh too hard. <laughs> I've been here before. I know how to get it out. Maybe, oh no, I definitely see it. Oh no, it didn't bird nest. It didn't, it didn't do that. Melissa's probably like, this is not going well, Lauren. Are you serious right now? We're gonna have a new shirt design after all this. People will be like, are you serious? She didn't even, she didn't even read the manual. Rule of glasses, broken needles, great, I love it. Okay, thank you, John. I appreciate that. <laughs> Just one more turn, an attention knob. I will rethread it in a minute. Yes, the magnet tool would be very helpful right now. I do have a magnet, um, but Dorothy took it. So less, less helpful. Ben. Ben's over there like, Mom, why? Okay. Whew. Got it.
At least I have a pretty screwdriver though. Like, it's really all that matters. I was like, nah, this will take an hour and a half and then I can go to bed, it's fine. We got class in the morning, it's fine. Tighten that down pretty well. Here we go. You definitely have patience, Lauren. Well, I'm gonna have to have patience for the class as well. So I'm I'm good. I'm cool. I got my friends here. <laughs> it turns out this was all just to sell you. A screwdriver. All right, let me let me find an a sixteen. No, I was using a sixteen. An eighteen. Okay, I think all I have are sixteens. I have been summoned, Nikki. <laughs> I don't need help. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, I do have a top stitch 16. It's supposedly deeper. Go deeper. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Should I try the top stitch needle? This is a Floriani chrome top stitch needle. Should have kept your HD9 out. Think so. Mm -mm. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, she she's happy in her home with Tammy. They're having a great time. And me and my 1181s are just living it up. And she tells she starts sewing. <laughs> I'm using eyewear, okay? Protective eyewear. You better include some Tylenol in with the supplies for class, just in case. Nah, it's gonna be great. We're no, I cannot borrow that needle. That would be danger. Okay, I'm gonna really crank that bad boy. Here we go. Last needle, taking bets. New drinking game, every time I break a needle, you should drink. I don't drink, but it would be funny. Is the mic weird? It's like in my neck fat. <laughs> Why am I like this? Oh my gosh, yeah. Okay, and my friend Kira taught me put the bobbin in and it'll sew better. So, hi Nikki, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, I can't take it off. <laughs> oh, Rhea, I'm glad. Ugh, I wish to go back to last week though, last weekend, when we're all hanging out, watching grease okay i'm gonna try sewing just right here okay but the foot height is up so i gotta crank that back down okay this vinyl is a little stickier so this is where, like, well, that's not going to help. That's sticky, too. Um, oh, no, it did help. Great. Some scotch tape would come in handy. And some of Shannon's...
bulk reducing techniques would also be extremely helpful here, just saying. Ooh, new machine you wanted to drink. No, no, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And those techniques can absolutely be used in this pattern and I probably will utilize them at the getaway, especially when she's there and I can be like, full disclosure, this is her genius, not mine. Yeah, truly, we get rid of the um, overlay on this pocket and we're going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Um, I'll try that technique up here. I'm just going to snip that. But now I'm worried, like, the difference in the height. Okay, so we're gonna be coming down off of this pocket and that's going to possibly cause some problems. So I'm just gonna hand crank through that just a little bit. It's a lot to maneuver here. There we go, all right. Not a skipped stitch. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Are you okay? Should I just not use the thread cutter? It's fine. <laughs> this is my life lately, just FYI. Although, to be honest, I don't know that it's any different, to be honest. Keep the overlay and just hand crank over that one area. I don't know. I don't know. I think we're going to be using a different vinyl as well for the black part. So I don't know if it'll really, really matter. But here's our front panel. Oh, what did Nikki say? Was this all to market your Rulish's eye protection? Okay. Okay, I have a story. So I'm gonna do the bottom panel and I'm going to tell my story, tell the story. Um, there is a house for sale, not, not 30 seconds from so whatever studio. And I wanna buy it so, so bad because it would sleep 13 to 15 people. It's huge, it's beautiful. And last weekend, a lot of people were like, um, coming to class and they would say like, oh, I wish you had a place for us to sleep. That'd be so fun. And I was like, well, I'm glad I've brought you here to talk about a timeshare. <laughs> Don't use the thread cutter. That's what I thought, Barb. That's a good idea. Um, and yeah, it was just funny. That was it. That was the story. A lot of hype for a really short story. So I'm sorry. All that to say, I wish I had half a million dollars so I could buy that house and um, make it a retreat house. I just need 60 people to give me $66,000. <laughs> 60 people to give me $60,000. Well, Lauren, that math ain't mathin', so. Lena, I'm in. I'm thinking every single room would have a different fabric theme, color theme. It'd be so good. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna do some 
stitching. Can you take the V overlay out of the seam? I don't know. <laughs> My own fabrics. <laughs> yeah. Right, I'm just gonna like, we're gonna test this out. But yeah, go a little faster. That's a pucker. All right, well, we're done. What did I say? Barb told me, don't use the thread cutter, and yet here I am. Should write your name on the bottom. Yeah, maybe on my other. <laughs> to pay for the house. <laughs> Protective glasses. No, I feel like they'd have to be certified then. Like certified eye protection. Guys, I'm truly like, am I a bag maker? <laughs> I don't know anymore. This machine has me questioning my life choices. I, Barb, I'm sorry. All right, I'm not top stitching that for fear of death. Okay, next part. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know how I'm gonna get through the handles. It's gonna be great though. Oh man. I got to meet Barb at So Expo and it was super fun. Um, I loved helping in Sonar's class. Hello Rhonda, you've never caught a live before. Well, I'm sorry that you got to catch this one. <laughs> this is really putting my best foot forward. I'm not, I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel like I need to sew a bag on the 1181 after this just to redeem myself. Just to redeem myself. Just to be like, I do know how to make bags. Okay, great. Oh, Shannon, hello, how are you? I feel better already now that you're here. So many great people here to hang out. Yes, this is for the getaway only. Okay, so now we need to compensate for the foot. I do feel like I'm going to walk around with one of these while people are sewing. The problem I'm having with that foot is that I can like hear the stitches skipping. Like I can hear the tension not being right underneath. I can't 
just, I know it's skipping. What? Why? Why did you do that? Hmm. Thus, the reason. Yes, this thread choice is amazing. <laughs> Count to ten. <sighs> it just needs some adjusting. You will be, dare I say, fine. It will be fine. This is why when I had a domestic, I used a rivet press because I couldn't get connectors to be top stitched on. It's probably because I didn't have the patience. I'm going to start down here. Let's see. That makes a difference. Barb, are you proud of me? I did not use the thread cutter. Oh, yeah, I never re thread it. Okay, we'll get through this. We'll see what's happening and then I'll re thread. I can just, it just. I like the idea of the micro lift, but I think it's messing with my tension. I'm going to be helping people through their bags and I'll be like, hold on, I have to put my glasses on. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, this one looks like it skipped stitches and the most important part. That's nice. That's cute. Barb, I'm sorry. I feel like I'm literally hurting you and I know that I'm not, but I'm like, well, Barb told me not to and she's basically the sweetest person on the planet, so literally hurting her. I am using text 30. <laughs> Every time you raise it, I'm giggling like an idiot. Okay, good. That's what I'm here for. If people aren't laughing, I don't feel like I'm doing my job. So there's that. Okay, I got stitches made. My stitches got stitches. <clears throat> We're speeding right along. My goodness. I say, not knowing where my other panel is. Oh, panel. Panel. <laughs> where are you? Oh, you're on the floor. Okay. Made it. Back. Hi. Keep you right there. sound bad when it cut that time though. Okay. I'm also giggling when you apologize Barbara. I came in late and cracked up because I had no idea what you had the ruler on your face. It's protection, okay? Always wear protection. This machine doesn't even have a thread cutter. Did you know that? I'm telling myself. Okay, so to reduce bulk, we're snipping 
like three quarters of an inch. And then we're gonna open that up. Three quarters of an inch. That's like an inch and a quarter, but whatever. I'm gonna start in this direction. Just to tack it. at us. Look at us. Look at that. Right there. <laughs> Melissa, I'm making this just for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, raise it up and down. I have some elastic. Oh, but there isn't a hole over here. Oh my gosh, I would die. Um, so we are making the Petite Elaine. Um, petite Elaine. Which is really fitting because my sister Emily had her daughter today. Um, and her daughter's middle name is Elaine. It's her middle name too, Emily. But anyway, I'm excited. My little baby. Double-sided tape on the forehead. Oh my gosh. <laughs> One of those stupid things like, um, we don't even have any rainbow or any of the glitter. Um, 200 people watching and I'll, I'll tape this ruler to my face. <laughs> Please don't. Yes. New auntie. I'm hoping to go visit like in May sometime. I don't want a baby, but I love the idea of seeing a baby. That would be fine with me. All right, did it. That looks great. Minus those hello skip stitches. Oh, I'll get 23 more people in here. Nikki, I don't know about that. I don't know. Oh man, no, make it work, book it. The food is incredible, like don't go to make bags, just go to eat, it's fine. Just go and eat. A baby sleeping in your arms is the best, agreed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is my bottom panel not right? And they, they all put rulers on their face. So that's why you gotta go. You gotta go so that you can put the ruler on your face. And I'll look at you like this because I will have forgotten. Because <laughs> I'll have slept and I'll have forgotten all of this. I won't want to, but my brain is just so fried. Okay, I really think we're friends now. I feel like it's fine. <clears throat> we're at 178. <laughs> Don't, did you, ugh, you unthreaded. Why'd you do that to me? I'm also not used to seeing like a needle wiggle when I pull the thread. I'm so used to my machine. Here we go. 
checking comments. Yeah, it's happy you're not asking for six layers. That's true. You're right, you're right. Yeah, I'm using the accessory weight black vinyl that we carry on our website, which was actually like intended for domestic use for bag making, but also if you um, wanted to make wallets, things like that, you still could. Like wallets or bags, you know. This is a good reminder to practice sewing on my TL-18 before SME Tennessee. Oh yeah, that's fair. Oh, hi Nancy. Yes, I'm so grateful that CJ had that project or worked on that project. He's been working so hard to get all kinds of new designers kits added to the website. So if you're looking for hardware kits, we have quite a few um, and if there's one you're looking for you can always email us I've honestly used it when I made the hinterland um, I just ordered a kit off my website instead of trying to figure out what hardware I did or didn't have I was like I'm just I'm just gonna order this okay square in the bottom I better fly that open Um, we are making the Petite Elaine. This is one of my patterns. We are making this at the getaway in May. So I wanted to test out the pattern, materials, etc., on the machine that's available to rent in the classroom. I'm really excited for Tennessee um, So Magical. I actually signed up for two classes myself I'm taking the puff pillowcase that Amber at So Majestic is teaching, and I'm doing the English paper piecing that my friend Brittany is teaching. I'm excited for the idea of English paper piecing. I'm glad I caught this live, Lauren. Thanks for the laughs and seeing the bag you were working on. Good night, yes. Yeah, I'm excited. I loved taking the waxed canvas class from Georgie, um, so that was fun. Have I ever flown with a sewing machine? Mm, no, I have not flown with a sewing machine. I, I would think you'd want to use an airplane to fly, not a sewing machine. I'm kidding. I'm sorry. Um, but no, I haven't. I've only driven but they have like carrying cases you can use that I think would be helpful. Okay. So now we get to attach the D-rings to the side. Yay. I can't wait. I, I have a feeling I will love English paper piecing. Um, maybe, maybe not, but hopefully. Um, I, when I was in high school, I used to sequin shoes and bags during class. Oh my gosh, who am I? Why am I like this? But I would just sit there and sew during class. Sequins on. Um, Susie said, I flew with my Bernina internationally with a carry-on. Roberta is also teaching, she is teaching um, Cricut, is it Cricut for bag makers? Using your Cricut for bag making, was that, or was it Silhouette? Oh yes, I have seen that Brandy does English paper piecing.
So I've got that taped on. I'm going to start at the bottom. That was a heavy carry-on. A bit. So I'm trying to do my best to make sure that my side seam is butterflied open under all of that. Easier than a three tier wedding cake. <laughs> oh, Susie. I know that I will love making small projects on this machine. I just bought a new 770 and Juki 1541. Yay! And now I want cake. Yeah. Oh, Dorothy and I made banana bread tonight. That was fun. She kept calling it apple pie. <laughs> oh, it was so great. Can I have another piece of apple pie? Well, it's banana bread, so no. Oh, yeah, banana bread. Been exposed on Facebook. Oh no. Oh Nikki. Oh no. <laughs> Luckily, we'll, we're only at 170 still. Oh no. Fruit catching eyewear. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see. I'll be like, why did I do that? One of my favorite things is um, when Brittany will watch one of my videos and she'll message me and be like, did you know you said this, like, this is the tricky biscuit in my Mr. Heckles video? Oh, man. <laughs> I'm like, why, why am I like this? But thanks for being here, y'all. Um, maybe I shouldn't talk about it, I don't know. But I have been feeling a lot of feelings lately. Just a lot of feelings. So it's nice to do a live and hang out and remember, like, oh yeah, it's nice. Okay, we're good. Nice hanging out and sewing. <laughs> Laurenisms. I was typing it when you said it. Oh uh, yes, it's gonna be the tricky biscuit. No, stop. Okay. Ooh. That was almost it. Like, for real. Thought I was gonna die. Alright, going slow with that connector. And this is why Shannon does her connectors the way she does them. Where they're like in the seam, less bulk, all that. She's thinking about you all with your domestics. She's caring. Me, on the other hand, I'm like, just get with it. Not really, though. But a little bit. All right. All right. I did it. Not a single skipped stitch. Take that. Take that. Did it. So literally, if you have a new machine, just give your chance, give yourself a chance to struggle for an hour and a half publicly, and you'll be fine. 
All right, we're going to move on to the lining now. We can do this. I'm not doing the handles. Um, I could I could switch to the walking foot and do the handles, so maybe at the very end we'll do that. I did make two bobbins, but other than that, no thanks. Oh, no. Hmm. Is Melissa still here? <laughs> Make sure it's done publicly. Okay. Melissa, I think we need to omit the top zipper panel and just do magnetic snaps. Because I'm thinking about it and the way this one is, it's not a, like a, it doesn't have the band across the top. It's just the zipper and then you top stitch through it all and there's there's no way. So just one zipper for us will be good. I don't want to forget to tell her. Maybe I'll get my phone really quick. Okay. And tell her. Don't, not that. Okay, cool. Yeah, omit those four top zipper rectangles. No, no ma'am. No ma'am. Can't do it. Ooh, that's nice. That's what I'm talking about. Is that what you like? Cotton. Zipper. I've been taking notes. Okay, great. Because we can do this. It's going to be great. I'm laughing because I just looked at like the table versus the machine and I'm like ew this table's gross and it's brand new no not the table it's my 10 year old table This could easily be ironed, but my iron's off and it's over there. Hello, Muriel. You, you joined a great live. We're, um, we're learning a lot together. Rhonda, I am sewing on a TL-18 QVP Haruka. Excuse you. Thick, real thick. Okay. So I am doing a zipper overlay. Probably do that two and a half from the top centered. Do you guys like to cut out before you sew or do you sew it and then cut it out? I'm curious. I've seen it. I've seen people do it either way. So I'm just like, what y'all like to do? Okay. Go in slow. Um, So it then cut, I don't always cut it out. I fold it back and top stitch around it. Oh, so then cut, so then cut. All right, after, yep. 
Just curious. <laughs> I think I have multiple plastic bags. <laughs> but don't don't stab through it. I can't use it again. So if you are new to bag making, just know that I am too. <laughs> well, we're losing numbers here. Um, the knee lift did come with the machine. Um, ooh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Um, but I didn't, I don't want to use it. <laughs> I can't wait to be publicly called out for this live later in the Juki Haruka lovers group. <laughs> I feel like everybody here probably knows the story of the HD9. Okay. So now... Tension isn't tight enough. Okay. Yeah, top tension. All right, we'll try. Just a little bit. That's... That's fun. All right. Tape. <laughs> Give yourself a break. <laughs> All right. Tape that into place. Needle is not sticky. Is it? <laughs> it is tough to watch you struggle when you can just step over to your other machine to sew it so easily. I know. That's not the point, though. Oh, hi, Kelly. Mine is between two and closer to three. Okay. I'm gonna try the two and we'll see. Aw, welcome. I am gonna stand up. Happy me, I bought a Conso walking foot portable machine. $60, that's fun. So I just took the tape off of the bottom. I love this purple zipper tape. The purple zipper tape is from Wizardry as well. Should top stitch that down. I usually do, but so just laying that in place. Looks good. Alrighty. 
It sounds good with the tension just a little bit tighter. So that's good. got a little weird maybe but much closer do you ever yes the pull is on the zipper tape Never mind. do you ever do zipper pockets by cutting middle then diagonally to the corners then fold it back I don't think so because my brain can't handle it yeah Melissa I like to leave my zipper pull way over here so that I don't have to rearrange my zipper and then I'm just slide it back in. Slide her on in. It does help if you catch all the layers while you're sewing, like tremendously. I've been doing the zipper box method on um, some little crossbody bags I've been making. I'm like, oh, this is fun. So cute. Just a little pocket. So I might make one of those before I hop off this live, just like to, to, to be like, cool, I, I can make bags before I go to my classroom tomorrow and help Nova teach and go, please don't ask me any questions. I can't make bags. Don't even look at me because I can't make a bag. All right. So now it's just a zip, like we're just going to add a magnet. So we're, we're saving a lot of time here. So that will be nice. So I'm finding my center. I'm going to grab my other lining piece. It was like a long time since you've done a live. It has been a very long time since I've done a live. Um, yeah. It's, it's, life's just been a heck of a lot lately. So, I apologize. Like, trying to, um, stay caught up with content and my job and mom and all that it's it's been a lot and like by the time I could do a live I I'm just too tired I have no energy it would be not fun <laughs> I could do some like ASMR ones but eh, <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'm used to sewing with a tank. All right. So I'm just going to eyeball where this should go. Looks far enough down.
um, my mom a couple weeks ago had open heart surgery. Um, she is doing amazing though. Like she's cleared to drive next week. So thankfully that is good. But that was, that was a lot emotionally to handle, deal with, prepare on top of everything else. So if you're like, where you been? That was a lot of it. <laughs> okay, so there's nothing else I need to sew. Yeah, thank you everybody. I'm gonna just slowly taper decrease that stitch length. I don't think I need to leave more of an opening than that zipper pocket. Although this waterproof canvas is very thick, that's good. It's going to add a ton of structure to the bag without us having to have added any interfacing She's recovering really well. Is your September Lauren and Friends um, going to be an open, open sew or super secret project? Fun question. So it's not so secret anymore. It's going to be the projects from the project box. Um, and the friends have not been super finalized. The patterns are still, some of them are kind of up in the air. So it's just going to depend. I didn't want anybody to have to commit. So... You're doing better and I got Pearl's bottle. We are killing it. I sent you a picture. Oh, thank you so much. I really want to know what kind of overlay you're talking about. So thank you. I'm excited to see it. <clears throat> um, so for those watching who are not aware, I do have a classroom space in Belleville, Illinois. It's actually attached to what we call HQ, but it's just our warehouse office space. Um, and we have a ton of classes. And we have a bunch of spots still for sale in Nico from Sonar's class. And um, we have Monica from Cast Iron Handcrafted doing a leather class. And we're going to have a Skyver available for you to learn how to use as well. Um, and then we have Leslie Anthony teaching in August her Lasaya backpack with a ghost add-on. So that's going to be a pre-cut kit class. So I'm excited for that one. I'm excited for all of them, truly. Oh, thank you, Kira. Noemi knows. She's been to two classes so far. We'd love to have you back. Just saying. We miss you. <laughs> um, Erica from Lavender and Twine just had a class. It went amazing. The machine sounds a lot smoother. Yes, Shannon, it does. <laughs> I'm really thinking about Nico's class. September, December, definite. Yes, yes. I'm excited for Nico's class too. Um, September is going to be really fun because it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday classes. Since there's potentially three patterns to be included. So, yes. Oh, go that anywhere. Where'd you go? Get back here. So far, I've only had to use the one bobbin, but I think if we made straps, we'd want to. Got to get to one of Brittany's classes. Yes. Wasn't she such a great teacher? It was, I loved it. She taught the NCW class, and then she'll be 
meowing her way on back, maybe with her own pattern. <laughs> this seems so much wider, but it's not. I've just been making small bags lately. Okay, got that all sewn together. I'm gonna use what I think is the half inch, but probably isn't the half inch. <laughs> the bottom of the bag, <laughs> so sad. So my favorite thing is happening where things are shifting, but I think we're making it work. Yeah, this would have been awful with a zipper panel. I miss Shannon's class. So sad. Was on plane coming home from Italy. It was sold out. Yes. Well, she has... Um, if you go to the Sew Whatever Studio Facebook page, we posted a calendar. Um, so she'll be back. Just saying. For a more laid-back weekend which um, Rhea can probably tell you uh, are the best. That was my favorite <laughs> class. Hi, Kim. How's it going? We're almost to the end of making the bag. It's been a lot of fun for everybody else but me. No. such a great weekend. I was thinking for the next open sew, it would probably be like Friday from like four to eight, just to like get settled in, cut out projects if you need to. Um, Saturday, 10 to eight, advertised. Um, and then Sunday, 10 to four. I think those would be good hours, like, for an open sew. And then I likely might not be sewing the entire time, like I was last time, so it would be easier to kind of talk to everybody and help with projects, that kind of a thing. <laughs> Sign me up. Yeah, the open sews. Um, even at So Magical Expo, like, I just love helping in the open sew class times. It's just fun.
It was only good hours. It was nice sewing a little into the evening. Yes, I agree. Um, I felt like it wasn't advertised to go that late, but you really like, is Bob and Boy coming? I think Bob and Boy will be at um, Tennessee, but for the opens, like for the So Whatever Studio classes, we really haven't had machine issues that I haven't been able to handle too, too much. So that's good. Just because to like fly them out and all that would be expensive. I've got a $500,000 house to buy. Not really. Not really. The house itself is only like 360, which is still a lot, but it would be so much to renovate it. It was last updated in like 1940s. It just kills me because the listing says move in ready. And we're just like, in what universe is that move in ready? It looks like a castle. Yeah, it's really cool. Open renovation weekend. <laughs> yeah. But like, wouldn't that be so cool to be able to stay in a house just a 30 second drive away with everybody? I don't know. But some people are like high anxiety and can't wouldn't want to do that, but I think it'd be pretty, pretty sweet. Um, if anybody is signed up for classes upcoming, we are still working on the hotel links. Um, I was at the hotel today and the lady was like, I'm sorry, I haven't emailed you back. It's been busy. And I'm like, we're cool as long as, as long as people got a place to stay. Um, but if you are part of a class coming up, you can still call to get the room block rate. She just hasn't been able to send me the link. So, yes. <laughs> no, I don't need another project. And no, CJ is not handy. But it would be cool. Would save a time on hotels. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yes, the bed is pretty. So, <laughs> I can do demolition, yeah. So yeah, it is really cute. It's a wider bag, but holds a lot of stuff. And then we'll add the handles. I gotta top stitch this bad boy still, so <sighs> come on, 20, 23 people and I'll tape it to my face. Kidding. I want to do it just to see if I can too. And the only way to get this fabric is to come to the retreat. Just saying, Kim's gonna have it. Kim, I'll be so excited to see you again <laughs> when I can actually hug you and not be sick. That'll be great. <laughs> Um, the inside is just a zippered pocket and black, but we did add a fun zipper pocket. <laughs> well, I don't know if I actually want to do it. Um, the purple is a vinyl. <laughs> that should be the new cover photo holding up the ruler well next to your own pattern yeah okay
Okay, so is this where I'd want to lift up the micro? So one stitch at a time, because the purple floral vinyl is a little sticky. I'm gonna get my plastic bag out. Just uh, right there. Use the micro lifter to ensure clean stitches. Okay. The the black liner is um, the waterproof canvas that Melissa sells on her website. And then you gotta make sure you don't like push or pull the bag in any way. You can put the ruler over your face, take a strip of vinyl, make it. <laughs> oh, Kira, Diana, she needs to make them in Batty Leopard. Watercolor rose, <laughs> safety glasses. Okay, that would be pretty cute, I'm not gonna lie. I think we need to get rid of some more screwdrivers before I can purchase any new product. I think I'm all tapped out on product development right now. The black accessory weight um, definitely <clears throat> is less sticky, is all I was trying to say. I don't know whether to hand crank or put my glasses on, so. We're good. But it's just skipped stitches. So. This is actually like really, it's not that it's fun, but I'm enjoying the challenge and like a reset of knowing like different materials. I don't know. Like I know what I love to use but there's all different kinds of materials and different machines that people use. So like when I planned this project, I picked X, Y, and Z because it's what I liked and I thought, well, surely a machine would be okay with it, but like, apparently not. And I would rather have these issues at home where I can fix them, even though y'all are watching it too. Um, to know what we actually need so that it's a success in the end, so. 
that and you guys have the knowledge that I don't that you're able to share with me. So I'm very thankful. <clears throat> yeah, it is a quilting machine, but I've heard they're powerful and I've heard people say like, oh, I love mine for X, Y, and Z. Actually, I did not have any double-sided tape in those areas. I, I kept it pretty well out of the seam allowances, but this is the bag done. So I'm gonna switch the foot to the walking foot. <coughs> I was like, what am I looking at? Um, and we'll just see what that's like on the strap. We'll just see. Could be fun. You're not pretty. There we go. That was mean, but. Yes, so walking foot was my ride or die when I had a domestic. I know the HD9 has um, that like Teflon foot or like it was an all purpose foot, I can't remember, but that one worked well as well. But this attaches to your needle and where your foot goes and just can make everything better. Oh yeah, I was gonna add one of these labels. So Dawn, I didn't want to use the walking foot because height differences in parts of it, but yeah, I guess I could have tried. But yeah, it's the edge. Like you'd have to use a, such a larger seam allowance for that. All right, so we've got our straps here. Go ahead and measure the center. And then I'll use the quarter inch double-sided tape along the sides. Okay, well I can't. Just gonna eyeball it. That's fine. And then Melissa, are we using rivets to put the straps on or are we sewing them? You're gonna say, you tell me. But do we have rivet presses? She's using her glasses to measure stuff. Well, that's cool. <laughs> oh, I love it. Thanks guys, I needed this. <laughs> yep, <laughs> you. you tell me. <laughs> If, if rivet presses are available, yeah, we'll just rivet on the handles. But if not, then I guess I'm gonna take everybody's bags home, rivet them on, and then bring it back. We do have presses, that's what I thought, that's what I thought. <laughs> yeah, Dorothy, those aren't glasses. Be like, if these are glasses, then you're, you're eating apple pie. <laughs> we'll see, Lena. now you have to come. Because um, you'll, you'll need to be there to show everyone how to use a river press. That, and I don't want to wait till next year to see you, so. You can hand rivet, that's true. She could take a one inch ruler for her own glasses. Yeah. All right, I didn't eyeball that well, but it's fine. Check out these solar eclipse glasses. <laughs> Don't do it. Okay. Oh, it's like old times. How old am I? I'm not even married. Mm, clickety clack.
All right, let me seam rip the bag. Ooh, those stitches aren't even. Even with a walking foot. That's because I was going really fast though, and it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, ma'am. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Another pink, great. There's one skip stitch. Ah, there we go. I was just going too fast. Oh, the magnetic seam guide. That's a good idea. Does Alaskan Airlines have direct flights? Oh, it's to Texas. I don't know why I'm thinking it's in Florida. I know that it's not in Florida. Harry's in Florida. I usually see Melissa in Florida, so that's why I'm thinking. It's Florida. Ooh. Magnetic seam guides provided. <laughs> yes, that was a four fold strap. Oh, to Florida, too. Nice. I just love Southwest. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should try Alaska. So I have learned that starting from the center and working the, your way out when you're folding straps um, can help prevent issues. So that's nice. Okay, we're almost done. <clears throat> I don't actually know about making a bag on my machine. Y'all tell me. I feel like that really defeats the purpose of trying to go live to advertise. <laughs> For the bag maker too, but it really will be fun. Um, it's a smaller group than usual because I'm overly anxious and I was like, you're gonna have to cut the amount of people who can attend, just saying. And also I'm gonna eat all the food, so just, just saying. <laughs> Rhea, I got time, you got time for 15 rosies? <laughs> Where's Taylor? Well, I guess I'm going to rivet the handles on anyway, so I'm going to go over there. I'm not sleeping anytime, too, anytime soon. I'm always tired, but like I'd rather be sewing than sleeping. Boo! In summation, I'm really thankful I did this live. I learned a lot about this machine. I'll forget it all by the time May 23rd comes around. <laughs> I was just telling you, it's... <gasps> Is it seriously midnight? Oh no. No, it's fine. 
It's not like I wouldn't already be up anyway. The bag I'm gonna make takes 40 minutes max too. Rochelle, hi. All right, cut all those. No, it's midnight. Oh, crap. All right, well, it's been fun getting to know you. I like you. Do you want your snacks back? Do you want... I'm just kidding. Okay. So yeah, here is the bag. It's, it's cute. It really is. And this is the first time I've made the petite size with the front V-shaped pocket. So. Well, not this, but I have. Um, so I'm using Text 35. Um, but some people, a lot of people have said with this machine, they don't mind use a 40, using a 45. But I did not have any thread issues. Yeah, nice long straps. So I think, <laughs> do you see a second date? I, we'll go on a second date. I want to make something small, some little pouches. I can also teach Dorothy to sew on this one because it has the turtle button use a 70 how big is the regular size so the petite is not little it's just shorter so it's about 18 inches wide but the tall one is like or the regular one is like two inches taller it is really cute it's just petite it's just short okay let me clean up a minute no issues with 70 on that machine. Good, good. I like 70. I do. Seen my ruler back. <clears throat> Pile of stuff from Dorothy. Goodness gracious. All right, I'm gonna move the camera in just a second. Um, let me see if I have one I can use this thread on. I do not know. I do. Maybe. We'll call that Bizarro Lauren. Welcome back. We're home. Oh yeah. Different chair and everything. Oh, 
Alexa, play What Was I Made For by Billie Eilish. Okay. Yeah, Lena, the petite size is adorable. Um, when N Nikki was testing it, um, she didn't have enough of her material, so she had to cut two inches. You just turn away like that. <laughs> Sorry. I tried to say it quietly, too. Like, not even mine heard it. I'm going to use the blue instead. can really see the thread on this machine. That's nice. My tablet is two inches away from the speaker. <laughs> well, I am very sorry I did that. Um, yes, I am making, so I actually filmed, should throw that anywhere. Um, the tutorial for it, but it'll be out like May 10th. Somebody said to me today like, oh wow, your hair's really faded from the last video. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. But I, I pre-film like two or three weeks in advance so that I don't lose my mind and not have content. Yes, Rochelle, I'm loving seeing those slings, they're so stinking cute. So I'm making the one with Mormino super simplified so that um, I have used up a lot of the vinyl. Looking at what appears to be the classic slip, yep, in your box. You are correct. Um, the thread I'm using is a Mon Tech 70. So we're literally doubling the thread thickness. So that's nice. <coughs> Sorry. So I'm going to start with my crossbody strap. Get that out of the way. Oh crap, I'm sorry. Yes. Um, 2830 is the color. Um, so this is an 1181N. It's my favorite. Q, always be my baby by Mariah Carey. I think my other favorite part about having like an all metal machine is the um, magnets all over it. Oh my God, what's that? I don't have to be terrified of my needle breaking. What? The webbing that I'm using is from Georgia Girl Stitches, and it's like this thick, luxurious feeling webbing. So nice. Matches this thread nearly perfect. It's nice. Very nice. Okay, I do know how to sew. Cool. Great. Feel better already. <sighs> yeah, no, I don't 
I don't need to worry about my eyes anymore. This is relieving. Very relieving. Whoa. Until I stab myself in the eye with a pair of scissors. Then I'll worry. <laughs> oh my god, Maria. Your comment killed me. Maria said, are you a bag maker? And I, th I thought she was serious. I thought... But she's like, so are you a bag maker? Yes, yes, I think I really am. I think so. I think I might know what I was made for. Only on an industrial. So, Mad props to you guys who sew on domestics because can't do it. Can't do it. Um, yes, someone said, is there anything your machine struggles with when making bags? I cannot sew super, super thick leather. Um, And I can't sew super, super thin fabric. So hopefully that helps. Okay, so with the slip pocket, I back it with vinyl so that the print is the same. And then instead of cutting out both curves because that's just gonna take extra time, I just line up that straight edge and sew around the top. Cut the excess. And then I'm going to top stitch all this. So top stitched that, lay the vinyl, so cute. it at the top helps a lot. There we go. So there's a back panel which I don't change on that. So cute. Um, the vinyl I'm using is a the midweight lux but with prints that only I will use for my bags. Not for sale. You can buy the bag though. Come to C2E2, buy a bag. Please and thank you. Not really though. Unless you're already gonna go. Then please do. So I'm adding my tabs to the zipper. 
I don't use lining for this part. I probably should, but I don't think you're ever going to see it. And it just is more layers to sew through and more little pieces to worry about. I just don't care. And then I'm going to add this. The main panel, I cut four inches from the top, added double-sided tape to both sides of that line, and then it's um, six and a half by 14 out of the lining. So that becomes that slip pocket instead of it being like that slip zippered pocket. And Rhea, you may have even done something like this, which is why I was like, you know what? I could do that. Are you going to do any more bags? That women, women of horror custom fabric. Um, maybe, um, but I cannot sell fandom bags on my website, so maybe not. Um, C2E2 is the last in-person event that I am making fandom bags for at this time in life. I just don't have the hours and hours to sew. Oh, yeah. thank you, Linda. I, don't, I just don't have it anymore. Currently in this season of life. So that's that's been a struggle for me, is trying to find the time and balance everything. goes on top. Um, I think in the video I did I said I use a 3 8 inch but it's got to be a quarter or your panels are off a little bit which I mean it works out in the end just fine but this is easier. Move the zipper pull. Okay, nameplate. Can't forget to add that. And then sew this shut. I don't trim, they are off, but I just find where the linings do line up and sew it there. I find the waterproof canvas layer is just adding stability to that area, so I'm not worried about it. Name plate. Man, I meant to add the Bulbasaur pole that's here to the bag on the front. My simplified version is just a front slip pocket. Um, that's how you make the front of the guardian, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, no zip in the pocket. I'll have to try it this way. I remember being a young mom and I felt like I had no time for anything else. Aw, thank you, Dawn. I appreciate it. Yes, Rochelle, they did. Um, last April. So, if y'all need any fandom zipper pulls that you remember us having, just send us an email. We'll help you out. <laughs> Um, no, Lynn, I did not move my industrial. I mean, maybe it shifted a little. Um, it 
over time, possibly. And then I'm basting that pocket into place on the sides. And then I'm going to trim that excess pocket and zipper tabs. Oh, I moved to my industrial. I'm sorry, Lynn. Got to read all the words. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So then that's like the exterior done. I am using a 3 8 inch seam allowance because then I don't have to trim anything down. And then I decided to just nest these instead of trying to butterfly and it saves some time. <laughs> okay, I left for a minute and things changed. I'm sorry, Lynn. Yeah, I, um, I wanted to remember what sewing on the industrial was like. <laughs> I wanted to know before I went to teach a class, help teach class tomorrow, that like I know what I'm doing. Not that I won't on domestics, but yeah. Yeah. All right, and then my triangle rings. I'm gonna get sewn to the top. Um, I have already made like ten of this bag this way in the last several days. So if you're like, that seems quick, that's why. And this vinyl is just like such a nice thickness that makes it so much easier because I'm not fighting like with a lot of bulk or anything. It's just nice. So there's the exterior ready to go. <laughs> Hi, Serena. Oh, it's nice seeing familiar, familiar names. Okay, yeah, I really want to use a Bulbasaur pull on this bag. I bought a bunch of Pokemon pulls from New Moxie. And I'm like, when else when I use, would I use them? So, use them up. <clears throat> so I'm only adding one zippered pocket to the bag. All right, I'm gonna use the old faithful method, and my little zipper pocket ruler. Um, when I cut the zipper pocket for this pattern, I just used that slip pocket piece um, with a straight edge so that I don't have to get another ruler out. It's just right there. It's quick. Just cut two of them out. Good to go. And then I'm going to line this up like half an inch from the bottom edge. I want to give myself enough room for my magnetic snap.
looking at the camera and they have like filters now or something on YouTube. I'm gonna use a seam roller for this part. I made so many of these bags yesterday that my hands are like cracked and dry because of the waterproof canvas. And like I realized I don't I don't use a lot of waterproof canvas lately. I use like water resistant canvas or the waterproof cottons and stuff. And it's rough. But it gives such good structure. Push the zipper pull in, close that off. And then I turn the bag through the zipper pocket. been in a slump also I have been so unmotivated to sew I need some sew mojo I should sew something small to get myself sewing again yes for sure something small something that you like love the fabric or something will definitely help I have also been avoiding filming the pattern chat videos because I haven't since February, January, and there are a lot. Um, I have not had a weekend at home to, to really do it either. And now there's so many patterns that I'm too overwhelmed to get back to it. So I might need some help just picking like favorites or I don't know. It's a lot to film and then put all the links in the place. I don't know. Sometimes small things seem very daunting. All right. Here we go. Snaps, washers. So when I'm adding a magnetic snap through two pieces, I just go month by month, April for March, May for March, yeah. <laughs> the um, Nikki in the group um, the pattern chat support group, they're all just kind of on a post, <laughs> so it's hard for me to dissect. That's not bad. Set a date from which to start. I don't try to do it from the last time you did the last one. Yeah, it's true. And I know that, like, even if I just did a couple, it's something, you know. It's something. It's one of those, like, just, just start small. But then I worry about like, oh, well, then I'm hurting a designer's feeling because I didn't include them and it's not that I didn't want to, I just got overwhelmed. 
So I'm really hoping after C2E2, like things are just gonna kind of calm down, go back to normal, find a new routine, not trying to sew hundreds of bags all at once. It has been fun sewing-wise, though, for me, because this is what I love doing. I was really hoping I would have time to shower tonight and wash my hair, but it's fine. It's fine. So that's the lining done. Hopefully I'm able to do a couple more lives here and there working on some projects. I was hoping to be able to do it with convention prep, but it just never seemed to be a good time. I did open the zipper. Thank you, though. I can open it if I don't leave it open still as well. Isn't that such a pretty color? That one's from FWD Fabrics. I think it's just teal. Here, like, should I get out? Should I get out my glasses? No, all good. Thank you, Maria. Um, how much do you normally charge for a bag? Um, it just really depends on the bag. This one, I think I decided I could charge probably 65 for. There's no interfacing, it's webbing. It does not take me long to make. Um, I do have someone that I pay to cut out my bags when I prep like this. Yes, I love the lives for interacting as well. Sometimes I just don't, you know, I don't got the energy. Um, one of the last lives I did, I was actually on Discord and YouTube so that I could hear questions and just focus on sewing instead of having to read the comments because that would that is honestly the most draining thing about going live is like focusing on sewing but also reading the live 
comments and trying to keep up with everybody, so <laughs> yeah, no editing required. Unfortunately, I, d I don't do a ton of editing, I'll be honest. <clears throat> gotten it down to a pretty quick science. So vinyl that isn't expensive if made that out of leather. Yes. Yeah, I charge $19 a half yard for the vinyl I sell um, and this probably takes I mean not that much waterproof canvas is fairly cheap okay it's such a cute size too Actually, my, when my sisters were here for my mom's surgery, I finally finished my sister's diaper bag. I think I made part of it in a live, possibly. I made the bag you're making for my son's math teacher. She loved it. Oh, yay. Um, but yeah, my, my oldest sister, Sarah, she needed a new one with more me know. I did sew her one on my pink juki. And um, she's had it for years and years and loves it. And she's like, it's, it's falling apart a, the, a little bit, though, because it's, like, it's all I use. So she picked out materials for a new one. Why am I bleeding? And uh, <laughs> sorry, she had a blast picking all the stuff out. And I made it out of leather. I skived it. Put a hole in the freaking leather because I skived it. A little too thin. I'm not the most practiced when it comes to the skyver. And um, I was able to fix it, but it looks really cute. I can't believe I caught you on a live at this time of night. I love watching you. You've inspired me so much. Oh, thank you. When you'll actually spend less on an industrial than you will a semi industrial. True. It's a good pattern to embroider on the front pocket. Yes, absolutely, I could see that. All right, so I sewed it up. We just gotta top stitch it and then it's done. And then I'm gonna head to bed after I shower. And sit on my phone for an hour while Dorothy snores in my ear. It's all good. If you do any leather bags and what, uh, and want like a hand tool slab, let me know. Oh, cool. Well, I'm so excited you sent me a message on Instagram. I will check out your Instagram page. Uh, no, this is not sublimated. I just had it custom printed from my supplier. Uh, my pink juki is also an 1181N. Um, the story on that is um, Sam from Sunny Sewing watched my lives from when I was just on Facebook for years and years. And I'd always joke like, come on, you can do a pink juki. And I went to teach a class there and he surprised me with a pink juki, couldn't believe it. Um, I did pay for the machine. Some people think I was given the machine and I was, I was, but I paid for it as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, I absolutely love that machine so much. I feel like Barbie, I get to be sewing Barbie. I don't use it as much because <laughs> it would be very scuffed and I'd be very sad. So I use it here and there to make things. All right. 
selling Barbie with her glitter ruler glasses. Yes. I'm bag making Barbie. Who almost burned her face off with a lighter? Like, it's so cute. And then just the webbing strap just makes it that much quicker. I love it. All right. Well, thank you all so much for hanging out. Rhea, I don't, I don't know. It might honestly be dry from like turning the bags. Goodness. Um, yeah, the webbing is so cute with it. Lots coming up. You're too quick. I made a whole bunch of these, especially recently. So like the first one took me like 45 minutes and then they just keep getting faster and faster. Doing this front pocket is so fun. And like I said, you can't see that there's no tabs there. Who cares? Um, it was wonderful to talk to you all. Um, what is the name of the bag you are sewing and do you sell the pattern? I don't sell the pattern. Um, it's from Sincerely Jen Pattern Company. Um, someone did link it above. If you're able to see the comments, or maybe there'll be enough time for Kira or Linda to like pop it back in. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to do some more lives later in May, possibly. But like, I go into an office to work and there's a lot of guilt being in the office, not being in the office, I don't know. I work everywhere. It's fun though. Okay, I will get some sleep and I'll see you all later.